Hello beautiful ladies, my name is Yemi of Girl to Mom and this channel is all about inspiring you to own your life, live up to your potentials and to be your best self. There's something I know that a lot of women struggle with, especially in the early years of our lives. I've been there, I know, okay? This is something that we struggle with and that is knowing your self-worth as a lady. So I decided to start a series on knowing your self-worth as a young African Lady. I want to begin this conversation by asking you if you really know your self-worth as a lady. Do you know how much you're worth as a young, beautiful African lady? Do you know? So maybe <laughs> at some point in your life, someone has told you that you're not worth much or something is wrong with you. Or maybe events has occurred in your life that made you realize that you're not worth much. Then this series will help you because every woman I know, every lady I know wants to be highly valued. And that's fine. I want people to value me as well. So it's not a problem. It's not a big deal. But do you know that people undervalue you a lot because you yourself, you do not know yourself. Your self-worth is how much you value yourself. It's the feeling you have inside you that you know that you are a good person and you deserve to be respected. Thinking well of yourself, how much you respect yourself, that shows other people that they have to respect you as well. It's deeper than just telling people, Oh, I deserve some respect. Do you know you have to respect me? <laughs> no, it's, it, it's much more than that okay so knowing yourself what will enable you teach others how you want to be treated so if you treat yourself if you carry yourself like trash if you carry yourself like you're not worth much then people will treat you that way but if you know deep down inside you if you have that confidence inside you that you are worthy of respect that you you are priceless then people will treat you like diamond <laughs> If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell notification so that whenever I upload a video, you get notified so you don't miss out on any of my interesting videos. And you can also check out my previous videos, especially this one on how to rediscover yourself or any other video that may interest you. I'm going to leave some links for you in the description box and also in the card section above. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back for more videos. Thank you for showing up for me and for yourself. So let's get back to our discussion. So we all know that in our society, we place so much value on appearance. You know, our self-worth is usually determined by our appearance, our social circle, your net worth, just on physical things, things that people can see. But this is not supposed to be. Your self-worth should not be based on anyone or anything. It should be determined by yourself. You are the one that is supposed to determine your self-worth. So the question is, how do you respect yourself? How do you value yourself? How do you increase your self-worth as a person? So in this video, I want to cover some qualities that you can work on to boost your inner confidence that will in turn boost or increase your self-worth. The first quality you need to work on to boost your self-worth from within is trust. You have to build trust in yourself first. Now you need to be able to trust yourself that you deserve to be respected. You need to trust that you are worthy. You need to trust that you are greater than all of those things that people compare you with, that people measure you You need to be with. able to trust in your own abilities to do certain things. But mind you, trust is a function of knowledge. So you have to know yourself. You have to be true to yourself about your strengths, your weaknesses, your abilities, and everything about you. It's not to say that you should, you know, focus on your weaknesses. No, it is to say that you should embrace all of your, all of yourself, your entirety. Embrace it and, you know, trust your abilities. So let's take an example of this young lady. Let's say her name is Gloria. So Gloria is an average student. She doesn't really do well in her schoolwork. She maybe gets mostly B's or C's. No, not B's. Maybe, maybe C's, okay? She's just an average student and she loves to meet people. She loves to talk to new people. Even though sometimes she gets ignored, but she still enjoys meeting new people and hanging out with people, you know. So Gloria is aware that even though she's not a good student, even though she's an average student, she still feels pretty good about herself. She knows her self-worth. She knows that her worth is not based on the grades, on her scores. She knows when to take a step back and when to, you know, put her best foot forward. She knows that when it comes to schoolwork, she has to take a step back. She has to 
you know, let people lead in that area because she knows it's not a strong point. But she knows that when it comes to meeting people, when it comes to association, she is really good at that. So she knows when to put her best foot forward and when to, you know, take a chill pill, to, to take a step back. This is not to say that she shouldn't work on the areas that she's weak on, but it shows that she trusts herself, she knows herself, and she doesn't let the things that she's not good at to weigh her down. She doesn't let it to determine her self-worth. But she's able to trust herself because she knows herself. She's aware of herself. To build that trust, you need to know yourself, you need to accept yourself, you need to embrace all of your entirety. Another quality that you need to work on to increase your self-worth is your intellectual capacity. I know that I say this a lot on my channel, but trust me, the moment I started to work on these areas of my life, I noticed a great change. You want to get to that point that when you speak, you surprise yourself. Like, you're, you, you, you look at yourself and you're like, wow. Did I just say that? Is this me? Did I just do that? You know, you surprise yourself and you realize that the moment you begin to surprise yourself in those areas, you see your confidence building. You know, you feel empowered. You feel on top of the world. You feel like you've done something. <laughs> you feel like you've achieved and somehow you begin to increase the value that you place on yourself. You begin to understand that you're more than this. You're more than all those things that they're, that they're comparing with you with. I know that you know? this part is often ignored because when you hear intellectual capacity, oh, this is such a great work. This is such a difficult task, you know? It robs you of the fun that you're supposed to be having. But this is something that you really need to do. I know it's difficult because it takes a lot of mental space. It takes a lot of energy for you to begin to work on your intellectual capacity. But trust me, it is worth it. It is worth it at the end of a the day. A lot of times, we just focus so much on the appearance Parents, the physical appearance, your external packaging, that you forget the content, the content inside. And it is the content that will help you to boost your self-worth. It is the content that will give you that confidence. Now, I'm not saying that your physical appearance is not, you know, important. No, I'm not saying that. But when you see your content, when you see that the things inside you are beyond what you have imagined, your self-worth will naturally be increase so speaking of physical appearance i want to ask you guys a question so do you think intellectual capacity your intellectual appearance plays a major role in increasing your self-worth or do you think physical appearance plays the major role or do you think it's 50 50 let me know in the comment section that way i'm, I'm even sure that you have watched until this point okay so let me know your thoughts in the comment section do you think physical appearance is much more important or intellectual appearance is much more important i'd love to hear your thoughts on that the third quality that you need to work on to boost your self-worth is for you to be teachable you have to be a teachable person now somehow we have come to believe that for people to value you they have to focus on you they have to listen to you they have to focus on what you have to offer and somehow this is not true because nobody likes an arrogant person or a self-centered person even you you do not like somebody who is self-centered right <laughs> but it's your ability to learn your openness to other people's perspective your curiosity as to why people act the way they do that is what makes you a highly valued person being a teachable person being open to the world being open to other people's perspective it makes you a better person and when you realize that you are growing you're no longer in a certain level when you realize that you have moved up you have leveled up somehow it increases the value that you place on your you, you place on yourself it boosts your self-confidence from within you somehow realize that you have in, you are increasing your own self and it's not just about being open to receive information but being open to anyone people who are above you or people who are below you it's the fact that you are not threatened by people's minds you are not threatened by great minds great ideas great thinking the fact that you are open to other people's ideas will broaden your own perspective will grow you will make you better and that way increase the value that you put on yourself subconsciously i just believe that everyone derives some level of joy when you learn something new when you achieve something new you have you derive some level of joy and somehow it registers in your mind and when it registers in your mind somehow you realize that you will increase the value that you have placed on yourself or that you are placing on yourself so being open, being teachable, being a teachable person, not just to people are above you, but to anyone who has, you know, a great mind, great idea, 
it's another quality that you might need to work on to increase your self so finally worth. i want to encourage you to look at the list of things that does not determine your self-worth like your social media following your bank account your attractiveness your job title your grades these things have they have nothing to do with how valuable or how worthy a person you are i know it's easy for us to get caught up in chasing money in chasing popularity in chasing all these things that you know they don't really matter especially when these are the things that are highly valued in our society it's, it's just messed up in our society and in our world generally but i want you to take a step back and look at look look deeply at the people who are highly respected in the society who knows their self-worth you realize that it's not really based on these things it's not really based on these physical things and you might also want to take time to improve these qualities in yourself so that you can in turn build the self-confidence the self-worth that you if you desire. enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below on anything you're comfortable sharing especially on the question on whether the intellectual capacity determines your self-worth or is it the physical appearance or is it 50 50 okay don't forget to leave me a comment on that and if you are not already subscribed this is a good time to subscribe it really helps my channel if you subscribe and turn on your bell notification and also leave me a comment and a thumbs up it really helps my channel next week i'm going to upload a video on how to stay true to yourself and your values you don't want to miss that video so click the subscribe button and the bell notification and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye and when you are in that phase of life when you're in that daniel what is this i'm making a video it hurts yeah.